Welcome back to Wait Who's Talking. Uh, it's, it's, it's me, it's not a Julius, and then there's also uh, John 3 16. I don't know if we're using. Yo, yo, yo! <laughs> Yeah. Okay. We are using we are using the gamer tags. <laughs> Thought it was using proper name or something. No, 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 no. Yeah. Um. Today we just we just yeah we're just gonna be um, giving our input our feedback on uh, just a video we're gonna react and yeah hopefully the information that we share is is is, is valuable and and stuff. Yeah. And not based on the intros, but we'll figure that out as 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 time's going. Don't on. forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Put a put a, put a <laughs> editor. Put put the thing over here saying subscribe. I'm the editor. Mo mo mo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the editor. I'm a, I'm a editor <laughs> myself. <laughs> but yeah. But anyway, let's let let's, let's let's jump right into it. With your time and your life, I don't understand how you do not have a fire in your mind that is compelling you to conquer Earth. You go all this time and you're not doing anything with it. Do you, do you do you like do you like Andrew? <laughs> have you watched have you watched Andrew Tate's videos? <laughs> like some some of these things that he's like he says like that you know, doesn't seem like bad at all though. Some of these things are like very true. Yeah. But the thing is, the good things that he's said <laughs> the, is outweighed by the bad. bad yeah, the bad the bad is so junk. It's like you and know it's a junk thing, you right? know the thing is like let's say no. <laughs> Let's say if, if Hitler had like an inspirational Christian speech or something like follow the Lord, like he's the Lord's amazing, like he will save you. And then it's like people listen, it's like, oh, Hitler's so amazing. And you find out, no, Hitler had this whole genocide. Uh. And it's like, whoa, like, and that's, that's the problem. It, it's regardless of the good thing you say, like a murderer saying mm. like, love, love your, love your neighbor. It's like, what the fuck? You kill people. Uh. It's, it's so, that, that's, that's my problem with it, Andrew. It's like, anybody can say a good thing. Mm. But do you really mean it? Yeah. Oh, you actually, are you actually loving it? And that's mm. the actually the thing, the Christian stuff. Don't, don't what's that thing? Don't preach. Don't, pr practice what you preach or yeah. something. But practice what you yeah. Preach. And that that's my problem. It's like walk, walk. You gotta walk. Uh, talk the talk. <laughs> we gotta talk the talk. Talk and the talk, talk, talk and walk. walk the walk. Yeah. Yeah. Another one is oh, we we bringing what's it called? Walkie talkie. Walkie talkie. <laughs> Who's my bringing coats? Lead by example. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the shepherd or the sheep? <laughs> <laughs> the the what the water leads into the ocean. Be the water. Be <laughs> <laughs> the water on the river bank. <laughs> the hell the water leads into the ocean. I don't know, but I'm just, I was trying to think of an inspiration or something. Yo, these are three simple ways to become more respected as a man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all dudes are weak and nobody respects y'all. You know? One, get the fucking shape. When you're in shape and you carry muscle in a nice solid frame, men think twice about fucking with you. Like me, I'm a boxer. I like to think I know how to fight, right? But even me, when I see bodybuilders, I'm like, oh shit, if I was fighting, bro, I gotta keep my distance. Because if he grab me, he could fucking slam me and have his way with me. Pause. Two, stop being a funny guy 24 7. Girls are gonna get turned off and no man is gonna respect you because you see life as a fucking joke. But when you're serious 24 7, no man's gonna fuck with you because you're unpredictable. I'm not saying you gotta be a robot now, right? It's just a time and place for everything, you know what I'm saying? Be fucking serious 80% of the time and be goofy 20% of the time. Your life's going to change. Three, pick up a martial art, bro. Test your heart, whether it's ground game, jiu-jitsu, wrestling, or stand-up, kickboxing, boxing, or Muay Thai, right? When you train, bro, you got a different kind of respect. All my fighters or anybody that trains wrestlers, MMA guys, boxers, they know this shit, you know what I'm saying? And they'll think twice about fucking with you. <laughs> what? Pick up a martial art. It's like, I was thought the third one's going to be like as inspirational as the <laughs> I don't know. Isn't the isn't the go to gym and be fit the martial art thing as well? Like fits into each other. Like, bra, Collins, hmm? my bro, It's like you know how to fight. <laughs> you you might bolt in. It's, bo <laughs> it's like you, it's you, like it's you, like an add on. You fought you fought in school like you should know these things. Like your parents with the <laughs> choosing. Do I want this? Okay, wait, we just also add in fighting. <laughs> but I any color, no matter what. You must. The head is always up. <laughs> it, must, it must be. A, something <laughs> must happen. Um, the 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 thing is like, like when he the second point when he says like don't don't be don't be like super goofy and stuff. Mm. Like I can I can kind of understand that. Like for me, I'm not like I'm not the the most fit and stuff. But I'm I'm also I'm also very goofy. But I know mm. that they that that's also like a, a turn off on yeah. like or something. Like a lot of these these things like contradict itself. Like some girls don't like a super muscular guy. They mm. might maybe want the funny guy. So it's 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 how to, when he says how to become a respected man. That I don't think so. I think just I think that just he's probably he's on the yeah he's opinion personal. on the thing. Because what what, what is what is what is for 
I'm thinking, what is the res- respectable thing? It's like three, three, three everyone you around mm. you just with like with three people respect. you want to be treated. Yeah, right? treat them like yeah, treat them with respect. Mm. See, like don't don't just like attack people and these things. Like there's there's certain things that automatically, but like to say that working out equals re- respect. I don't I don't think so. Maybe for guys or something. Like you know, like you maybe like in a sense like you know when your friends studied, but uh, you do like we were, I think we were sp- speaking about it at youth. And it's like when you your friends start to go to you need to work out. Mm. They they're not saying that to like push you down. Or yeah. They're not saying you fat. They're saying it because they see that you're not the healthiest at the moment. Yeah. But, but they want you to get healthy. But then that that's kind of trying to help you. Mm. But like he's the thing that he was pointing he's out how, how like to be like he's respected. Is, yeah, how to be a respected mm. man. Mm. Now that that's a that's like a big concept. Like how do you mm. be respected by men and by women? How do you respect by mm. e- everyone? And the three points he gave, it's it's good points for a better. I would say it's a it's good points to to get a to get a female. That's that's mm. good points. It's like oh, this guy can fight for me. He's strong mm. and and he's and he's and he's. He but understands again, he's funny. Uh, females always say no. I can tell for myself. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, a lot of the times they're like, oh, you always love a dead body. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that even means. But I just like, then, it's then, like, I, I, it doesn't work out basically. I actually, I actually want to go, go into the streets now with my, my mic is over there and then go ask like, oh, like, do you want, do you like a dad bod? And then it's uh, like, what is a dad bod? And then if they like, cause I've so seen videos online and they, then that's like, they talk what about, what is a dad bod? Then they, some, they say like, um, Chris Hemsworth is a dad bod. Oh, what? what? Chris, Chris Hemsworth is a dad bod. Bo- <laughs> the rock is, bo- the rock's a dad bod. I'm like, the rock, you man, but they have muscles on muscles. <laughs> But uh, like uh, Adam Sand looks like a dead one. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing; some people like it now. Yeah, but that's, that's. But like for me personally, I just go to gym because I enjoy it. Yeah, but that that's that's the thing. I, I feel these points out better if you. I like, think maybe for him, he be, uh, for him, it's like he feels more like a man, and he feels more respected because people see him at the gym, and they see him working out. I also I also think so. But it's. But I, I can't remember if he asked it was respected for, for. A girl or just respected. Oh, you just said it's how to become a respected man. Oh. But maybe it's just generalizing. Mm. How are women the prize if they date up? If the woman's the prize, why do I have to be taller than her? Why do I have to make more money? Why do I have to be able to give her the life that she can't get for herself if she's the prize? I'll tell you why. Because she's not the prize. I am and you are. This is just another one of society's oldest tricks. Trick the people who have the power into believing they don't have the power and they'll spend all their time chasing the power instead of using their power, which gives those who don't have the power all the power. Reclaim your crowns, gentlemen. The time has come to know the game and play it well. Because I don't know if you watched that, uh, what's that guy, the other guy? What other guy? It's Sneak. Huh? Oh, oh. oh, oh, Sneako. Sneako. Yeah, Sneako. And the thing is, he also. Hmm? And man got cancelled. <laughs> no, <and> man <laughs> always gets cancelled. But the thing is, he's very factual. Yeah, he's, no, he, he just points things out for what. And he knows just, how to read women. Yeah, what 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 the things look like. Okay, but not all women are like that. Yeah, I, I also don't generalize for, for yeah. everyone. But the the thing is, um, like about about the thing there it's like i've watched another video where we asked like who's the who's who's mm. the prize and then like females always okay. say females and mm. i think i posted that on my instagram who's who's the prize who, who's pre- who is more precious and then most people say the females mm. but then it's like look i remember in this one video that i watched they said now where is where's the, the high value men and they're like we can't find them and it's like if you can't find something doesn't that make it more of the prize mm. doesn't that more doesn't make it more the <laughs> like imagine diamonds are just everywhere and it's like no, like if diamonds are everywhere, it doesn't. It's not as special anymore. Mm. It's it becomes less. And the thing is, like I was, um, like a few girls that I know, like they, they don't like to be spoiled. What? See, they don't. They want it to be equal. Oh yeah. Where oh, they, but it says new mindset. Now. Where they yeah. actually get to spoil the man as well. Yeah, but you see, that that comes with that comes with the the the, the new the new mindset of things. Even even his point of in the video is a new mindset because mm. old school mindset is no, the woman's yeah. the prize. And the thing is, they won't they like you can say new modern age and, and like let's let's call it the world culture. You can say world culture mindsets, but you you can't say that you're still traditional mm. because that's not a traditional mindset. Traditional is man is you are this position and woman is prize. More, yeah. Woman's more precious. So, yeah, like personally, my relationship with Reza, so we also have like a modern take on things. Like we both work towards things. Like mm. 
it's like she does something but i also do something if she if i'm cute then she's also cute we both aim in our own ways to give oh, like a hundred percent you know what the q stands for what do you mean what do you mean q stands for like the actual meaning of cute i found it today uncle nah there's not the actual meaning cute's cute uncle leo is telling me nah uncle leo don't lie nah uh, auntie cheryl even said it was true nah, cute just... stands for ugly but acceptable <laughs> what i think it's yes bro that's what they were telling me no bro i don't i don't believe it uh, <laughs> Because then what if someone what if someone's doing something cute? How does that sound? Like? Oh, oh, he's so cute, shame man. <laughs> no. oh, shame man, he's so cute. But what if what if what if like what if what if what if, what if, what if, what if a baby's cute? It's, it's like baby. oh, the baby's like nah. The, oh, they the ugly but acceptable. All babies are ugly but acceptable. It's like oh, he pooped, he pooped his nappy. That's cute. That's ugly but acceptable. <laughs> See, because I mean, no one wants to touch it. Yeah. Nah, I, I think that. I don't think so. I'm passing it out after. I don't know what I'm saying. Yo, all the time I've been called cute. Yeah, <laughs> nah. I'm ugly when it's simple. Nah, I don't think so. I think cute is just is just the definition of something that that's mm. cute. I can't. I can't. So I just. I said because cute is just you're attractive. Yeah, I thought. I thought you'd make it into an acronym now. Like can't and use. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, let's get in. Let's get into the next one. Say when buying car, make sure the previous owner keys that the, the previous owner doesn't have the keys. This isn't about cars, cars by the way. <laughs> oh, this is this is probably like a female thing, would you get? Just to, hmm? you know, to kind of chase them away. <laughs> yeah, it's probably it's probably the, the, the that X mindset of things. It's like, like oh, you, you didn't see the things like with, like on TikTok, they post it. I was saying like something gaming. And then the person will start speaking, okay, now that all the females are... <laughs> like, oh, now, now all the things are gone. And it's like, oh, it's one of those ones, uh, like, putting it out there. This, this is actually a, a bigger thing. I should actually put put that put that down, like, uh, on one of my... On that way to stalking group of how big is it that the person has... How important is it that the person... Oh, I'm asking the question wrong. Is it a big thing that the, that the person you're getting into relationship has been in a lot of relationships or has slept around with a lot of people that's like i'm giving two different examples but that that's like a big that's a big topic mm, because for good. especially for like me as a christian it's like nah that that's i've i've dated a lot of people but i haven't slept with a lot mm. of people <laughs> okay i haven't slept with anyone that's a virgin <laughs> so it's a it's a whole thing but it's a it's a it's a big thing because some people think it's okay other people don't think it's okay so I just think it's like you know, always just bring the Bible there, because in the like it speaks about not being unequally yoked. Mm. No, but you basically that's a, that's the that's a, the Christian viewpoint of mm. it. But you, for everyone else, it doesn't. Like for it doesn't me personally, f- like I'm also a virgin, mm. and I wouldn't like I, I don't like I'd say I, I'm at the age now where I I don't just want to date for fun anymore. <laughs> Even though I didn't date anyone mm. throughout high school, mm. I just don't want to do that, man. Because yeah. at the end of the day, I'm going to be wasting my but time. You waste your time, man. Yeah. Like, so now I'm trying to find, I'm looking, that someone like, that I can possibly date mm-hmm. and then get married to. Like what you and Rose. Yeah, no, do. but like me and Rose was a bit different. I, I didn't even notice Rose until I noticed her. No, but I mean, <laughs> she was like, in church for so long ago. But I mean, like, you're not like dating for the fun of it. Yeah, you're no. Like, you're no. serious about it. And now that's what I want to do as well. Get someone that I can possibly date and yeah. then marry. In but the then you you you're still probably looking for that the connection and stuff. Mm. It's, it's not oh, just like, like a oh like oh this person one oh this uh. person likes me. It, it's it's not on that. It's mm. that's something I actually made in one of my videos. Actually, the probably the video I just posted a bit earlier. But it's there's connection. Then there's also a, a attraction, and then mm. there's also like preferences, and mm. all those three work together. Mm. It's like you can have, someone can be attractive. But then maybe they don't match your preference. Mm. So let's say it's a, a short girl, but you find her attractive. Mm. And it's like, do I want this forever? Probably not. Then it's, if the connection is not there, it even makes it worse. And yeah. So that, that's, you're only of one thing. Yeah. Like I remember in, in the past, and this is not too for any of the, my past and relationships. It's also like just the personality as well. And yeah. They also interact with people. Yeah, but you see that that also that's that's the that that preference or something. Mm. Like let's say. Um, the person goes to um, 
I don't know. Let's say uh, us Christian. I, I don't go to I don't go to club, but they say the person goes to mm. club like or oh, every every weekend or something. And it's like that's not a preference for me. Yeah. Like a preference, like hey, if I'm talking to you, you gotta you gotta talk back. You're not gonna be on your phone. Mm. That's like a preference. You can put it the characteristic and all that stuff. You can put under preference. Yeah. But it's it's very important though to to be very evaluative about your about your partner and stuff because yeah. it's pointless getting in a relationship. I think it's just and then like humans we have that checklist. Like yeah. About everyone. <laughs> But in nowadays culture, that checklist is bad. You, I don't even care. You bro. Bro. What you gonna do? You gonna fight? <laughs> you gonna, what you gonna do? You gonna fight? That's the worst you gonna do. <laughs> but at the same though. time, that's what everybody does. And I mean, people. Yeah. It's people it's, it's, not gonna it, admit it because now they got a time. Now, nah, that's wrong. You can't wanna. Mm. But at the same time, they still do it. There's a rating system that go- you don't have mm. to say it out loud, but there's a rating system that goes on in your head, and yeah. and it's like no, this person doesn't match the thing that, that I want. Mm. That I feel there's some there's something better, but it always that there comes to a point where, um, like even like for Rose and myself, we have we have looked like through our lives we've looked around, but we have come to a point where it's like you are the best. I like like there is like I can aim for that perfect perfect mm. goal. But it's not about that. You find this best, and then you settle. But you settle with the hope that the, the person you're settling with mm. grows, and that's the thing. Like who I am now is not the 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 Matthew that Zoe wants when she's married. Mm. She wants the a better version, and that's mm. the same. It's we gotta grow together now. Yes, that's the thing with like, couples. You should be able to help each other grow. Yeah, and you become better. And yeah, that's just the thing. Well, I'm not there yet. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but hopefully soon. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> But yeah, I mean that. When what? When when did Rosie and myself start dating? I was that was 2018. I was how old am I now? Net minus 22 minus that. 2018 was about four years ago. I was probably 22, and Rosie was 18 or something when I first started liking her. And it took us a, a whole three years before we started dating, yeah. properly dating. So it's like. And I knew her since I got, came to Eternal Flame, mm. 2011. No, t- yeah, 2011. Yeah. So that's like a massive, a yeah, massive time way. frame. And yeah, I didn't even notice. But then mm. after, like, thing, things happen, and that's the thing. <sighs> I guess everything. Connect. Has, it's it's more about connect. Connection changes a lot of mm. stuff, man. That's the thing. Everything has its, its own timing, man. Yeah. Go on a rush. Go on a rush. You you find the thing that you're looking for, mm. but like also. Don't don't waste time because yeah, <laughs> it was at a point and it's past. It's like ah, time. I've learned a little bit. Now now you hey, now you're thirty five and you're like damn slow, bro. Yo, you made you thirty five and then I've learned a little bit. Yo, T of men. Oh, it's unbelievable. The audacity and confidence of mediocre men is. Yet there are so many women out there that most wouldn't consider to be tens that say they deserve a man that makes six figures and is at least six foot tall. It's six foot. I'm not six foot. No, I'm like five nine. Oh, I'm I'm six foot. <laughs> I, 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 I meet that. I meet the category perfectly. Yo, I don't even foot. <laughs> no, I I know I can be honest. No, I know that like no, like in terms of my my height and then my my loudness and let's say not scared to approach thing that makes me attractive. But in terms of let's say my goofiness, it make, brings me down with mm. points. <laughs> and then not like. Being overly friendly, like I, I'm not. It's like that also brings down. I don't have to worry about this. I have my girlfriend mm-hmm. nowadays. This, this doesn't matter. So we yeah. loves all those things about me. So I don't have to worry about that. But I know, like, I can be evaluative, especially in the video where mm-hmm. they said, "It's like, how can you rate yourself a ten? You that means you're the best of the best. That's ten yeah. out of ten. That's not ten out of a hundred. If it's <laughs> imagine ten, imagine you ten out of a hundred. Yo, you <laughs> trash. You at the bottom. <laughs> you're cute. <laughs> yeah, you you cute. <laughs> Except. <laughs> But yeah, it's that's just the thing, man. That's a, that modern mindset again. You know, I actually get what that other last one was now. Which other one? That the previous one. The cause. Uh. What do you think it was? I thought it was actually about cause. <laughs> no, it's in, by the way not about cause. It's talking about relationships. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, he's saying that. He's saying that. It's like that. They have intercourse. Yes, and he's talking about the intercourse. Yes, and it's Because like that intercourse. What you, didn't you know? It was you all have a uh, emotional. Attachment to yeah. the person you have, and it's like person. just make sure that the the ex does can't come back into the life, mm. and, and they're like oh, yeah, it's like you 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 the one that. Yeah. But you see that if 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 we have to take that into consideration for let's say for both sides, male and female, it's mm. they they will say that's very ownership, like it's mm. the ma- a masculine yeah. ownership thing. But it it should be on both sides. 
my past relationships and Rose's past relationships shouldn't have an impact on, on your, our relationship oh, now. And especially now. when we get married, it even says in the Bible, oh, oh, husbands, you you like submit you are your wives. You don't you don't you, uh, husbands, you don't own your body, it belongs to your wives, and wives, you don't own your body, it belongs to your husbands. In mm. other words, you both belong like to a, each other. It's a dual ownership, yeah. basically. But that, that only happens when you marry. Mm. That's not when you are dating and things. So Yeah, because when you marry you become one. Yeah. Uno. Uno, tres. <laughs> what? Tres? Hey. hey. <laughs> Cuatro. Whoa. Whoa. Relax. <laughs> I don't know if you have to dump it. So it's like, oh, yeah. No. Sis. 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 It's very sis. <laughs> uh. Can you keep recording real quick? Can you keep recording real quick? Uh-uh. Just some ideas to do it. Uh, I, mm. that's, that's a, another conversation you wanted to have. Because that, that, I don't understand that though. It's like, I personally, myself, I wouldn't want, want someone that has, that's gone like, Oh, I've, I've gone and done all these things and no. now I'm, now I'm ready for this and accepting yeah, like, me for this. Like, what's your body count? <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, people, I eat, people, I hate that question. I see a lot of people, I hate that question. But, uh, but the thing is like, my thing, eh? my personal thing is like, girls, it's okay for girls to go to a club and kiss the boys, but as soon as you do it, Mm, it's, like that's your, your... it's like for me like the date, dating aspect that's a lot of hard connections but i know mm. that I, I didn't for me personally i know they didn't give give away anything of like of my of myself and stuff mm. but you see that's the whole different mindset like i have a belief that like sex and virginity is such a high and valuable mm. thing but to other people that don't they yeah. don't aren't in the same like let's mm. say belief or the same mindset, yeah. yeah so it's a very important question to have but the thing is you know what I come back to is, what is what is my preference? Mm. <laughs> I don't want I don't want someone that has, yeah, that, that, has that has gone in and like that's unequally. Yeah, yeah that has slipped. And slipped the thing is, with, with this world today, it's very hard. Yeah, okay, well, you okay, I'm but, fine. Yeah, I'm fine. But like, I'm for, thinking about other from people. my point of view, it's very difficult to find someone that has a very similar or mm. same mindset or same preference. Yeah, it, no. Just, it, no, but I mean, like, uh, with certain, with regard to certain things, with my preferences, like mm. being Christian, must be Christian, must not like drink. Yeah, that's all the preferences, and but, it's very hard. To but you see, but that that's the thing that you, that you look for, and that's like you you don't want to sac like of course you don't want to sacrifice on that. Mm. But that that that's a good good approach because when you find that that person that matches, then you yeah. know like nah, it's okay. Like for me personally, like Rose matches all the boxes I was looking for because mm. that's because like. Uh, like for like all the ones before and they didn't they didn't match everything there was yeah. things that was was questioning like i i questioned things but as soon as i dated those like i'm well as soon as, as soon, not as soon as i dated those but as soon as i saw those it's like and like i started talking to the connection personality and uh, preference all matched straight away and that's that's what everyone that's what you want it like people as young people do settle but they will never, they will never tell, they will never say so. They will say, they will say if they drunk or something. <laughs> like, yeah, so my partner. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, I was running out of time, so I had to uh, <laughs> The time was, the time was going, I needed to. Time was, you know, time. My, my, my parents, my parents were close to dying. I needed to. <laughs> I had to move out eventually. <laughs> I had to sit. And that's the thing, you don't, you don't, you don't want that, man. Mm. Um, and like there's there's certain facts that actually is is very important like female like we like as as guys we know that females in a certain age let's say from 20 to like and i'm not i'm gonna uh, let's say if we were older let's say we were like 40 or something so girls from age 20 to 35 is we were looking that bracket before we go 35 to 40 we're not gonna go 35 to 40 first we're gonna look below i don't want no sugar <laughs> But you see, that's that's the thing, and like not to understand that there's like certain guys have preferences, that people have preferences, and you think it's okay just to do everything, and mm. you you gonna miss out on something. Yeah. Like let's say if someone liked me, but then you go out and you like steal from people, mm. and then like you come to me and you're like I've st- I've stolen from this amount of people in the past, like stolen once, fine, but you always stolen from a hundred people, like that's questionable. That, Are you gonna steal from me? The scary thing is also you become so blinded. By your preference, that you, you never know the per the person that's meant for you is your yeah yo uh that that's the that's the this the the settling part of mm. things like seeing the person knowing they the best of, they they not that perfect mm. preference thing but they they so close they better so than close. anyone else but yet you still you yeah. choose to think again <laughs> that 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 again reminds me of those 
remember that's in grade 11 only in, in 2017 six years i didn't i didn't notice her i just noticed she was just like a person that was at church mm. it's like ah hey, there's a, hey, there's a. and then 2017 i don't remember like i was at church and then the lord was like the lord was my wingman he was like matthew look there so we go give a hug and then from that point onwards april 20 april 2017 the 21st or 24th from that day onwards never never i never stopped liking her i'm not i think i'm joking bro it's serious i'm not i don't even i didn't even i didn't even remember before that point <laughs> um rose rose i hope you call him out for that <laughs> well that's how it is man sometimes it's like the person you you least expect it's that mm. that connection actually happens See, that's right the thing, thing. Man. Mm. and that's also I've, I've, I've started to notice that like throughout there's been like so much people that I don't want to say so, so much, much. <laughs> but I mean, there's been like a few that I've like looked past because I've been yeah, but chasing then, this dream girl. The dream, yeah, the perfect, perfect, the perfect. But the thing is, with that, then you, you could lose out, man, mm. and the person could could slip away, and that's the thing. I I feel that I know that there's a belief that there's a perfect person for for everyone. I I don't fully 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 agree with that. I think that the God has a plan perfectly for it, mm. but we also make our own choices. Yeah. But then God helps us. Or you show he directs us on that, that mm-hmm. new plan, but you have to of course stay with him. So that's regardless of what we what the person we choose, as long as we walk you walk together in Christ. Of course, I'm this is Christian facts. Yeah. <laughs> Not this doesn't work in in the the, the modern mindset things. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, let's let's watch like another another two or something. I think it's more thirty minutes long. <laughs> uh, oh whoa whoa whoa! Now nah. you got too much dip on your chill. Huh? Now, when the things are happening, uh, a woman call you bum cause you ain't want to spend your hard money on her. Are you really right? A female POV. A female call you bum cause you ain't want to spend your hard earned money on her. I that that one I don't understand at all. That's that's just. That's kind of an old school mindset, but also the modern mindset of I'm a prize, but also um, you have to treat me traditionally. I don't know, but that, 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 I, though in South Africa, you don't really get that that much. I don't think so. I don't think we, you yeah. know what I noticed now? We're in America, it's more like... You, you know what I noticed? I, we answer that out, the, the groups and the people that we associate is like, especially maybe when you, you start working and you're going to a job place. Um, like the people I meant, I met at campus, like they friends, and they like they go out and stuff. But at the same time, like if we go to the shop, I, I'll sometimes like you know if it's like something small or whatever, then I'll offer to like you know show. Yeah. But then it's like say I'm buying me lunch, and then they're like no good, let me pay, let me pay, and they will pay like that. Where they they don't get upset. Oh, but you boy, even though I don't show any interest in them. Yeah. Out of their own things, they still want to. Mm. So um, I, I think I think it's more of a like a lot of these things we're watching is a more of a West West problems. Mm. It's more of the the American side of things. But then again, there um, are there like some girls it's like oh my boyfriend pays for this, he pays for that. So yeah, very much do this. Yeah, or even even yeah, is your is your um is your boyfriend gonna spoil it for your birthday? Uh, uh, it's like what if, it's like what are you doing for his birthday? It's like it's yeah. uh, that that's kind of the, the 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 problem or something. It's like. Um, I don't think it's really a real problem. I think it's just something that that just needs mm. to needs to change, and especially with like with the, the comment of um, spending all your all your money on. Mm. I, I I think a lot of these things, like watching a lot of these videos, I realize that I've been in such a contained group of people, like mm. around my Christian friends, around selected friends. Like I don't, I didn't imp- like interact with people I didn't I don't want to like because we can select the people we associate mm. with. Um, but because of that, I don't get to experience some of these things. Yeah, <laughs> like Zoe is not not like this. Mm-hmm. Like like some of my my previous uh, previous relationships weren't like this. It's like we we dating, so therefore it's like some of the traditional mindsets are there. But it's not like asking for money. Yeah, it's like oh, what the fuck? You're not gonna pay for the thing. Oh, uh, you're not gonna pay for the meal. Uh, why must I pay for my own McDonald's <laughs> meal? It's out there like that. Uh, I love I love the thing when they ask who, who pays for the first date, and the, the the best response is the person who asked them, the person who asked uh, you out uh, on the date. Yeah. The nice thing is if let's say the other person says like, oh, I can I can still pay off. Then it's like, whoa, it's like, oh, thanks thanks for offering that. Mm. Trying is cool or so. But the person See, that asked, you don't. And it's funny that you say that because Carl, my cousin, mm? he took his girlfriend I think like two weeks ago on their first date. 
Mm. And he also told me that, like, you know, he's going to pay because why he asked her out. Yeah. That's and even though, like, you were saying, like, she offered to, like, pay off. Yeah, that, that's good. That, that's, and the that's thing is, he told her no because... And he told her why, because it's your first date and I asked you. Yeah, that's that's good. So basically, he was like, like, like saying, like, you're my guest mm. and I'm treating my guest. Yeah. And, uh, but I mean, she got him, like, dessert and stuff yeah. like that afterwards. But you see, that that's that's a that's a good bond to have. And the thing mm. is, it's, it's easy to do that in the beginning, but you need to continue yeah. that outwards. You need to go move, the, you have to move that, mm. that, that forward. It's like, if... Let's say I don't have money, but I can make something. Mm. I can be cute. I can write a message. I can Google mm. and find find things. It's like that's the effort you can still put in. See, that's it. Myself and Rico, we were telling. It's it's like sometimes girls just appreciate the small things more than mm. spending money. Like you like like you're saying like just sending them a text. Yeah. Or it's, offering just to come over and chill. The I actually have a, a, a short on that also. Way I don't know if I posted it yet, but it's some people don't want let's say the paying for things but mm. they there's certain ways that you can show mm. your affection towards them let's say it's company like just mm. being around someone they could that can be like yeah. like a dope thing or let's say just a conversation mm. or like let's let's say like let, let's say we have, we're in a group right mm. and then there's a person that i'm like yeah they said tell them what like just involving yeah. someone in the conversation it even makes, makes them it yeah, makes them feel mm. like oh i'm noticed um or maybe just like Let's say they, they have like a certain series that they watch and you just watch with them or like you watch the whole thing so you can talk to mm. them about. It's like there's there's certain ways that your partner likes things. So you figure out what they like and that that's the thing. It's not just about money. It's not just about yeah, the, like, the I mean, intercourse and girls just think, oh, my own my boyfriend spe- uh, spoils me or like makes me feel special just by spending money yeah just taking me out and he then like and then i'm over he doesn't do this he just takes me out and spends money and then like the thing is like the the argument the other side would be is like i, I, I buy all this stuff for you yeah. you're still not happy and it's like no maybe that maybe that's not what the what she's really wanting what she really wants like she's yeah. wanting that connection mm. that spending time yeah so it's 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 really good to understand mm. who your partner is and stuff yeah and what they prefer also yeah <laughs> It's like what 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 is the if we talk again about this not not, not Christian things but I've heard it in church about their love language and stuff. Mm. That's very very important. What is love to them? Yeah, what is their aspect of mm. of love and connection? Okay, let's let's watch one more. We we try to make it for forty minutes. <laughs> Realizing the person you fucking with is a dot right in front of you. Like every guy has dated someone that they loved, and she goes, "Who's your celebrity crush?" You know, like, if you could cheat on your cheat list, who would it be? And you sit there in shock because you've never thought about this because you love her. And she starts naming off these A-list celebrities. And you realize she would cheat on you in an instant. No hesitation. Wouldn't even think twice about it. Huh? Who's your celebrity crush? That looks so sad. It's like a man, like he just found out the day. Like he found out the day or like, like, like his girlfriend. Does I take the shower? Take the shower about dirty. It's sad, bro. He's crying in the shower. I didn't even read. I didn't read. What a sad. So, wait, who's, who's your celebrity crush? I think I had like, it was, when I was younger, I had. But you don't, oh, you don't remember who it was? It was, I think it was, what, Selena Gomez from... Oh, I know Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez and like Vanessa Hudgens from the <laughs> High School Music. High School Musical, that's the Camp thing. Rock. In Camp Rock. No, but now that's them in the park yeah. in Camp Rock. But, yeah. But I mean, that's all, and then uh, now I grew old and started high school, I was like, nah, I don't care. Yeah, I don't care about that at all, so. I'm like, like ah, what's the point of having a crush on someone that I'm never, ever going to see? see. Yo, now you see, that that's my thing. Like, like when some people see someone in, like, let's say in a movie, and like, mm. oh, you're like you like it's like almost like so excited or something you know? it's very like for like let's say someone that they're attracted to or something mm. i'm like like let, let's if I, let's say people like see like kim or what's um what's the uh, kylie jenner or something mm. i look at i'm like eh, it's it's like like maybe they are high numbers like uh. they're very attractive but because i don't have the connection with them and because they like let's say their lifestyle doesn't match my preference mm. that's actually the, what this whole video is about we're just talking about connection yeah. and preference <laughs> 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 But because they don't match those two, like it doesn't it doesn't matter to it mm. at all. Like for me, I I would still choose Zoe even if like let's say like oh okay, like one of the famous person messaged me online. Mm. I'll be like, but I don't I don't know you. And if I get to yeah. know you and you're not you don't compare to the connection I have with Zoe, then mm. it, but course. I won't even open myself up to that anymore mm. because Zoe is the one I want. Yeah. So therefore I don't even open myself up to any other connection because 
just like um let's say just like before you start liking someone mm -hmm. you got to know them mm -hmm. and then it's like oh this person is a bit attractive and you got to know them that's like yo now they even became more attractive because you know them that's how you start liking someone so how do you how do i how do i this is an example how do i not cheat on zoe just not get to know someone mm -hmm. on that level just be just be friends like from keep a distance the yeah just keep keeping the friends all the time but so they slip out of the window <laughs> then you know you've nah, nah, you've nah. Nah. now then you have to cancel that whole relationship <laughs> block yeah, say <laughs> mute cancel change your phone number <laughs> but you see you, you also that what that guy was what that guy was saying no? that's a very a very uh biased uh i want to get to that thing it's a very biased mindset mm. because what about the male partners yeah what about the male partners that oh if let's say a female a sexy female comes across mm. that's that's more attractive than your partner yeah or you get to sleep you can sleep with her mm. so it's it's a very it's a very biased it's mindset yeah. yeah it's like saying that oh only 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 the females will do this mm. but then it's like if it's, it's like you know what you can actually feel bad you know we can actually do we can just do a quick search and we can see what the the things are in average men are more likely than women to cheat 20 percent of men 13 percent of what how is that even possible? There's, it's only, there's only, oh, we, oh, that makes no sense. How is it 20 to 13? That doesn't make sense. That doesn't equal 100. Men in the 60s <laughs> report having higher infertility on your 60s. <laughs> Damn, son. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have to live life at the age of older. With, <laughs> with the numbers sometimes increasing until the ages of 70 and 80. <laughs> <laughs> with, <laughs> with 26 percent <laughs> yeah that's when really you're older you love your life yo, yo, yeah yeah you're supposed to be you're supposed to be yo you duck old by then bro and it's like are you even getting action nah, <laughs> on the other woman pause. On, on the other uh, woman on the other hand have the highest rate of infidelity in their 60s and the number goes down as they approach the 70s and 80s yeah but you see that that's what i'm saying it's Cheating on Tinder, <laughs> <laughs> but you see, that's what I'm saying. It's a it's a very biased mindset because, like, you can you can say that the person will will cheat on you or someone, but then the stats will show you that that men cheat more, mm. and then that's like, but not all. But the thing is, the problem with that is that though, again the statement, not all men. It's like mm. the men that cheat is the men that cheat. It's yeah. not. It's like you can't call me a cheater because I have I haven't cheated. Yeah, and like one thing that I know it's like out the topic, but one thing that like I really hate. It's like when people say like all men. Oh, I eat it also. Bruh. Like I in class, that. eh? I seriously does. In class, oh, we were talking but, and the, this one girl sits behind me. She was like, Yo, you know, all men are just trash. And all men are... Like, I can't remember what the girl was, but it wasn't like anything good. And the girl, like the two friends of mine that sit next to me, they both have boyfriend. Like, okay, no, the one doesn't have a boyfriend. The one has a boyfriend. Mm. And, but the girl behind me is also dating a guy. Yeah, and that's my problem. And I, don't and she, that. I, don't, and she, I don't get that. If, oh, and she, and she turned around that. and she told her, like, she, uh, she literally told her, this is exactly it. Are you dumb? And she asked why. Because, I mean, how can you say all men are trash if you're dating exactly. a guy? Yeah. And then she just sat there and she's like, no, but I don't mean all men. Yeah, but then you said. And she said, why you make a dumb uh, statement? Because that's the same thing. Look here. I can say, like, if we look at American TV, and I'm like, yo, most, most black people in America are gangsters. Mm. And it's like, what the flip, Matthew? That's a fake racist comedy. You can say like all blacks are gangsters. Yeah. yeah, and it's like how, and it's like, mm. that's, then it's like, then I could say no, but like if we look at stats, more black people mm. than white people are gangsters. So therefore, and that's the same uh, argument that that the all all men are trash comments and, are. It's like it's more men that they, that they say trash about the. I think that's more about the 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 SA, which is uh, the the sexual. Yes, images. but I mean. That's like I know, but a it's handful still, of people that I know. out of the masses, and that that's that's the problem. It's like if you look at everyone else, the statistics. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, And then, <laughs> I'll just cut it between that. But yeah, like it's the statement incorporates a lot, and that's mm. that's my problem. When in this new day and age now, I think that the ambiguous statements don't work anymore. You can't just mm. say. Like I can't just say all Christians are good because it mm. doesn't it doesn't work because Hitler identified as a Christian. Mm. So then it's like what the fuck? How do you include Hitler? But it's that's the problem. It's like 
do we do we use these big acronyms or these big groupings to define people or mm. do we use individuality to define yeah. people and and that's the way it's like i i am i'm matthew like, but i'm also colored i'm not a right. color that, that i'm not i'm not more colored than a matthew i'm like matthew these, um so it's a very it's a very big topic these feminists like those those thingy feminists man that take it like serious yeah like super super serious that like like really like stand for that old men that trash type of thing and like then you'll ask them like would you now go fight in war <laughs> i saw a video that earlier would no, you like, i'll say like no yeah then i'll say no because uh, men are men are it's yeah. like no that, that question is um the, your question is do you believe in equality and then they'll be like yeah but then like would you go to war and then it's like no mm-hmm. and it's like what the flip the equality means that you mm-hmm. should also be like in america you should also be um what's it called transferred or something uh, you should also be in that old yeah but it's it's like but then they all say no there's yeah i know it's a, a man might do it because the men are more physical oh, and it's like say be, all men <laughs> <laughs> and then it's then it's like, like that point i don't get that's, that's, a, a, that's a conversation that I, that's actually good. catches them out all the time <laughs> you say that you catch them out all the time but equality equality works if, if you want equality it, it's a it's a it's an equal line straight across so everything. everything it doesn't matter you what. can't choose when you want yeah, to be it's a, I, I can't say that everyone needs respect and then i treat a certain gender a certain race with with less respect mm. even if the person did something wrong with me like that respect line still is continue yeah it's like i respect you but you you need to be dealt with for with your crimes it's mm. like i'm not gonna go kill you because that's not an aspect of of respect because yeah. everyone can be like oh i respect you so much but i can kill you also yeah so and that's the problem at the the this line that we have made it, it's very skewed mm. it's very it, it's it's super skewed that um like the question i think i posted on on one of my instagrams also was who can make a who can make a racist comment <laughs> or who will be judged more for making a racist comment a black person or a white person or one of the other races or who can't i said who can't make who can't uh, be racist and then the people like some of the people said why people can't be racist and other people said stop asking questions <laughs> <laughs> but it's like we have the stigma now that white people can't be racist but other people other, mm. other things it's like, it, it, like all whites are racist basically yeah it's and, it, and that, or it's like no if you racist as, as a white then that's that's even worse but mm. anybody that's racist is is no one should be racist that's yeah. the that's the line that we should work on like accept everyone um and that's the, i like i that statements even when like when guys make statements of um women's or one of the, the three bad words the s word the w word or the mm. h word it's like you go how, how how can you say that and then you still want to date you still want yeah, to date afterwards wanna, yeah and then it's like you you then they say i want no i want i don't want those women i want this pure woman but mm. if you they say if they say like they say you you get in a relationship with someone and then like afterwards you stop dating that person mm. doesn't that person automatically become the female automatically become one of the three now if she gets a new partner it's like mm. oh no she has she's been in a relationship with that with with, with yeah, john before the guy gets a new girl then, they then it's like ah and you see it's oh, yeah. <laughs> well done and it, it, it's 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 dumb and yeah the mindsets of this yo if we, if we watch more of these things we'll probably just go hectically on but yeah that's what it's going to 15 minutes <laughs> but it's fine man it's, it's a it's a it's like a, a podcast kind of talk type of thing you know I'll, i'll cut this up into smaller sections and things so but yeah it's i feel like some of the takeaways is to understand what your your the, especially that preference connection mm. and um to the track what what you're attracted to and then like know what it know what know the certain things that you like and just be authentic to that mm. like if you don't like certain stuff then that's that's okay just, I, just like we like. i think also with regards to preference if you don't change your preference with every girl you meet and actually stick to this is my preferences say i meet this yeah, girl yeah. today i have those preferences and i'm like okay then tomorrow now i actually have those preferences yeah now nah, find out find out what what you want like for me it's so it was it was about the i needed a christian mm. i wanted to have a christian partner in the future set this out down actually think your preferences and stick to it yeah because if you're going to change you're never going to settle mm. and under- personally also understand who who you are and the things mm. that you like so you don't you don't have to say these biased things a lot of these statements that are happening like oh like like let's say women that's that sleep around or or one of the bad words but then guys that do it it's it's, it's one of the cool guys it's one of the cool guys that that's mm. that's a bias that's in your head it's a belief and that's one thing that i'm addressing now is the beliefs that are just in my head it's like 
the let's say the boys don't cry thing. Mm. It's like that's a belief that was just bolt in me. Yeah. But it's like I watch anime now and I cry. I don't care if you if you laugh, <laughs> right? man. That's something emotional. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it doesn't make me doesn't make me less strong. Like still, if, like pe- like people that are my friends, like you guys, you can see like nah. I, mean, I think you can cry at that, but it doesn't mean he's less of a man mm. because you know my characteristics. Like I will. I actually I'm makes him more of a man. I'll, I'll <laughs> yeah. It's like I know I'm I'm more. Because he's actually able to show you him. I know who I am, and if a situation arises, I can I can show you who I am in the situation, mm. and so it doesn't matter if I if I cry for. Let's say when I get married one day, which I have <laughs> see, yeah, so see, coming yeah. Down the aisle. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if 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 I cry because it's, it's not about that. It's about who I am. Like me as my stature, I'm more, of, I'm more of a man than someone that goes to hit hit a, hit a, hit a girl. Mm. Actually, no, anybody that hits anybody out of, I don't, I don't believe in fighting yeah. unless it's it's need it's self self defense. That's the only that's the only thing. Unless your life depends on it. Yeah, but yeah, I I think some good advice for people is break down those beliefs that people have told you and this, like, uh, another thing society has but i don't think society is just is just free of non-blame i think some some things just get passed down mm. through generations so like yeah. what's your mommy your daddy? <laughs> mommy and daddy or your parents or just people around you like understand that understand those beliefs and break them but then also in in your relationships like understand that have a connection is more important than attraction and 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 pre- preference because mm. you can have a preference for someone but they're not being connected to them mm. you can be someone can be duck attractive but, but then you have no connection a and it's a terrible person <laughs> you're a terrible know. person and it's like you can get you can marry that person but then you might fall down the line it's like you want a divorce yeah and that's that's, that's the problem like like those three aspects work perfectly together that's how i also make sure you become good friends with your best friend best with, with the girl or with the boy i can ask i can ask i can i can if darren was here now i would tell darren darren what did i say when i when i was look when i said i was looking for like for a partner i wanted a best friend sorry mm. darren but i always used to say sorry to darren because darren was my best friend i don't because i didn't mean i didn't want you <laughs> i was Too like darren, sorry. <laughs> to darren you can't you can't get me now i'm taken <laughs> but yeah that's the thing that's also one of the things I've learned is become good friends with yeah. them because that's how you, girls open up when you good friends with them mm. you actually get to see who they really are but yeah there's also but the other thing same about with that, guys also guys the exact same thing they have this forefront that mm. they but it's, it's that's our own other conversation mm. of I think friendliness and being open because some girls don't like that. They like mm. that mystery and that, mm. that secret and that darkness. And guys yeah, yeah. also they don't like want, it. Really must actually yeah. go find it. Yeah, out. and guys, that guys, some guys also like being that one that let's say that's the the masculine, the, mm. like also like the chasing and like oh you like actually getting like you're not gonna actually gonna get the attention and like they're gonna be cute and stuff like You'll they don't have know to do this about me. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's some some of those things like some guy like for me i find i find i find it cute when i was chasing rose and i didn't know everything about her uh, like i do that to dig and uh, yeah, to find and I have, to, I have to think of ways and i have to it's yeah, so have to away the mind. <laughs> <laughs> but you see that's our own other conversation of yeah certain there's uh, there's different types of people and understanding mm-hmm. that the, like for me again i can just be fully jokey and like mm-hmm. let's say i wear underpants on the outside like I can go outside, people won't be attracted to that. Yeah. But maybe some people, some girls will find it super funny. Like ah, yeah. then. But that's the thing. Like yeah, you need I, to. Un- I will go out my jockey. Just, just think about it. <laughs> find it funny. <laughs> so it's about understanding, like, like the the environment. The the best way, personally. This is this is this is. I'm just gonna say. But the best way of finding finding a partner is to understand that girls like like majority of girls like someone that just gonna approach and that's not scared and shy. I like confidence. Yeah. yeah, it's like they they are looking for something. Like for me, like I I have a tummy, but mm. like if I if I turn that into a six pack with my height, you mad? Like I will be so like super mm. super attractive. And also if if I'm more mysterious and not as I'm, I'm super friend, like I said, the friend in this can can easily become okay now i'll put this guy into into friend zone but if i don't if i don't allow that friend zone mm. thing then it's like whoa it's oh. even more attractive now it's like yeah. yo this guy don't want it's either kick him out i don't want this this the guy like this or it's like no i, I, I want someone like this yeah yeah so you see it's it's about understanding and the thing is there's there's more the majority than the minority like some girls won't don't care about any of that but majority of girls do care yeah. about that so and i think also just a big thing is also with that um, confidence is like the arrogance and the confidence thing. Oh yeah, people, a yeah. lot of people. Mix, confi- confidence and arrogance mm, aren't, aren't the same. People mix it up, and some girls and girls really don't like arrogant. Yeah, not at all. 
<laughs> so just be careful when it comes to etiquette and incompetence. Uh, and I think there's a lot of things like that that, that mm. get fused. Like let's say... Um, but I think it's also good to have a girl's point of view. What? Like to ask those. What are the things that when she is... Also- yeah, but you see that that's a that's a big conversation because remember that Rosie's mm. a... a a, the rose is a specific type of female mm. it, won't, it won't match let's say we take one of let's say oh, I'll, I'll just use the example of friends but let's say Robin or Pepsi mm. like at the, at, like maybe maybe Robin and Pepsi have things that they have they have in common because they are friends and yeah. like they found because that, that's why they're friends but they might they won't be the same like rose there might be similarities but it's might it'll be completely different like maybe mm. they don't want like let's say a guy with curly maybe they like yeah. someone with a place yeah with a place or yeah or, or they like someone that that's that's or just just funny the all the time yeah mm. or they're not concerned about if the person is christian or not yeah. like for zoe she want like it needs to be christian mm. so it's that's why you need to have a, a massive group and that's why when when we start doing our on the streets on on the streets uh, podcast oh when you start doing on the streets i was pointing at the screen when you start doing on the streets podcast like we'll find out more information so yeah the be tuned and yeah thank you thank you john 316 well, make sure man. you go follow this guy on all on his socials and if he streams like every every once a year <laughs> Go. I don't know who's gonna make it to the end of this video. <laughs> it's like a whole hour. There's a special prize for anyone who's got the end. Imagine someone makes it to the end of this video watching the whole oh, thing. You or oh. I will be impressed. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna cut this and post in the stuff. Oh. But um, but yeah, yeah. Hopefully that inspired some some somebody. Uh, like even if it just inspires one person, um, that that's good enough. If it inspires nobody, if, if no one watches this, <laughs> at least we had a nice conversation. And if you have anything. Any questions in the comment section? Yeah, post and it. and if you do need help or advice, hit me up on on my on my in, on my Instagram, um, so then I can give you some opinions and help. And yeah, if you like Kurt, like say, uh, vote him back, <laughs> vote him, vote vote number two for Kurt. <laughs> Dial three thirteen fourteen. <laughs> They're like, who the fuck's Kurt? When I called you John three sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck? It's like so weird, news. It's like what the fuck? We talk about two different girls this whole time. Maybe you always actually told you that you do. But yeah, like always, stay safe. No, wait, sorry. Like, like always, no. Like always, stay safe. Peace, peace, peace out, Cape Town. Bada bing. Bye. Get out the screen. Go. 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 Which way? I want to go that way. Go. I'm going to go. <laughs>